the great great that guy's a musical show so this man said on oprah with an interview that he wants to move to ghana you know why because of we all see what is happening today in america the bl the blm movement black life matter Ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing, man? This is your boy, Mr. J, aka Kwame Boy. I did go on your dokong work at Creo Boy Bazinga. What's happening, man? You guys good? Man, I hope you're having a beautiful weekend, and I hope the Sunday was epic for you and your family, and you staying safe, man. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for tuning in. You could have been doing literally anything, but you decided that you're going to check Mr. J out. And for that, I say I love you, my brother. I love you, my sister, motherland. It's all love, you know what I mean? This right here, let me just put it out there. This is not a musical reaction. Uh, we gonna talk about some good news that has been going on, and you know, ever since this return to motherland movement started, a whole lot of artists. I'm talking about great artists, international artists, famous artists, man, actors, man, people from the black community in the diaspora, especially the U.S. They've been going and visiting motherland they've been trying to reconnect they've been trying to know the other dna where the where they come from you know so it's been a beautiful thing now i mean but today we're going to talk about one of the greatest greatest comedian to ever grace the stage he goes by the name dave Chappelle. of course you're supposed to know dave Chappelle. now dave Chappelle has been a <laughs> an interesting character when it comes to comedy in the industry you dig remember a couple of years ago man he there was this show the Chappelle show and he left the show and then he took a trip down to South Africa and he just chilled out and a whole lot of buzz came out that this man was this this man was that that he walked away from money this so it was that pressure so my man in an interview with uh Naomi Campbell man the great sexy Mother man, and he made mention of the fact that he about to move to 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 Ghana. I mean, so we're gonna be talking about that today. Before we get started, I hope, I hope you know what you're supposed to do, man. Hey, let that commercial play. So, Mr. Dave Chappelle, brother Dave Chappelle, in an interview with the great model, said he he's been working with this. This dope architect, man. This brother from GH who built the Smithsonian Museum for Af for for African culture. I think that's how you say it. And he's trying to build a property. He's trying to move to Motherland. And to that, I applaud. Let me pause before I go any further talking about Mr. Dave, Dave Chappelle. Motherland. I just want to say this, man. To all, I'm talking about this is cross. Motherland across the the, the, the the across the spectrum. Stand on your ish. If you are an entertainer, this is the moment for you to capitalize and professionalize and build up your stuff. Because I say so because a whole lot of narratives about Africa has been broken. A whole lot of bad talking and you know all the poverty thing has been broken from Africa because we the African we talk about our continent, especially we can talk about vloggers, YouTubers putting out great stuff. We can talk about the Tayoa from, from Nigeria, the war, the Maya, you dig it, a whole lot. And we've been given the real picture that the Western, the white men didn't want us people to know, our brothers and sisters in the diaspora. Now they have started to come back home. And I remember in an interview with uh, Akon, the brother from Senegal, man, born in, in the U.S., Senegalese American. He said, black people should move back to Africa. Whatever they are doing in America, let them go and do it in Africa. And it seems like that right there sparked something because the brother himself, he moved and he started doing things and you know, people see him doing it and they and they hating and they seeing that it's, it's doable. Now I mean, and shout out to the brother too for doing that because that was a great push, you dig? So, Mr. let's go back to Mr. Dave Chappelle. Mr. Dave Chappelle said he was gonna move. 
He's working on moving. And this man did a show in South Africa and he was surprised that the ticket sold very fast. Matter of fact, let's let's check that out, man. Let's 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 check that interview out, man. I don't want to be talking and talking. I mean, let's check it out. Just give me a minute. Where do you want to go? You mean you've been around the world? I mean, I've seen well, you about many times. Okay. Where do you want to go? That you, how, what you now? Where do you want to go now in 2021? Where do you want your reach to go? How do you ask somebody who's actually been everywhere? You know, he has the opportunity to just go out and just do comedy. Where do you want to go? Let's find out, man. Well, as we have not spoken to you about this, is a good question. Stevie Wonder said in the press recently that he wanted to move to Ghana. Now, now those of us in the room that know Stevie personally, he says this thing many times through the years. Stevie Wonder, the great Stevie Wonder. A new year's day, I just come to say. Yeah, yeah, y'all know that brother, right? Y'all know that uncle, right? I cannot call him a brother. That's going to be, dis that's being disrespectful for Mr. Jacobs. That's like the great, great, that guy's a musical show. So this man said on Oprah with an interview that he wants to move to Ghana. You know why? Because of we all see what is happening today in America. The BL the BLM movement, Black Lives Matter, and the constant and the you know consistently killing and of of, of, of black folks. It's like just telling you you don't belong. And we saw what happened with four years with the Agent Orange man, the most useless president in the history of America. Now, I mean, if you're a Trump supporter, it's so good. Let's agree to disagree. I mean, so, man, my man is talking about it. Let's keep going. We know. Uh, but this last time he said it, what he said, he said, I'm moving to Ghana so that I can be uh, valued and respected more. It's almost exactly the phrase he used. And, you know, you got to think, as a black American, who amongst us is more valued or respected than Stevie Wonder? If Stevie Wonder, this great, this great talent, this great, this legend man, can say that he wants to move away from a land where he was born so that he could be valued more, man, we gotta ask ourselves questions. What's really going on? See, Dave Chappelle took his cue from from Stevie. You know what I mean, so he finna let's go, man. And the idea that he would feel this way at this stage in his life and in his career, he goes on to say. Uh, I would do this for my grandchildren. Facts. So Posterity. Which is a very ominous thing to say because clearly this is going to last for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. And to see him decide to make that move, I wanted to go. Because I love this speak. So my man want to go because he wants to leave something for posterity. His kids, he wants his grandkids to live in the land where they accept it. Blacks feel accept no no black Americans gonna walk down the street in, in any country in Africa and he be he's a target. Now I mean you just like any other person. You feel me? I do. I look at Stevie as he's the soul of American culture. And man, if the soul leaves the body, then this thing is dead. Facts. And I, I Facts. I'll follow him over there. Or I'll go myself. I'll do it for him. Yeah. My man said, I'm gonna follow Stevie. Or else I'm going to go myself. I'm going to do it before Stevie. And Stevie one is like the soul of, you know, this man is, when you talk about black music in the U.S., you cannot talk without mentioning the great Stevie Wonder. May God bless this man to live a long life. <laughs> yes, Dave in Africa. We love that. I called Naomi immediately. He did. Yeah, Naomi called me immediately. You put me in contact with David Adjai. David Adjai, for those at home, is a... Uh very respected architect, considered one of the finest on earth. And here in the United States, he did uh, the Smithsonian Museum of African American History. The Smithsonian Museum for African American is David, is it Ajay or Ajay, like he pronounced it. I, I know that's Ghanaian right there. Which is sacred ground, as far as Smithsonian's go for black people. And he designed it, and, 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 and they always uh, put him in touch with me, and, so we've been working together. Hopefully I'll build something there. Facts. But I'm definitely going to at least rent something for the foreseeable future. And I hope to open a comedy club there. Ooh, I heard this wow. and My man says he's going to build something in Motherland. And he hopes to open a comedy club.
When this man says that, let's pause for a minute, ladies and gentlemen. I want us to analyze this man's this man's statement of him opening a comedy club in Africa. Now, if you don't know, man, Dave Chappelle is a is, is a very prestigious comedian. He is he has a whole lot of Grammys, but the recent one is the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor. That is like the the top of it. This man has four Emmy Awards. He has three Grammy Awards. And he has a whole lot of wins, man. We can talk about the Grammy for Best Comedy, Sticks and Stones, uh, Equi Equ Equanimity. He got the Primetime Creative Emmy Award. He got the Primetime Creative Art. Emmy Award for come on man. If he says he's gonna build, now let's come back to Muffle and all those entertainers, all those comedians. Now I know a whole lot of comedians from different parts of, of Africa already doing the thing because in, 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 in Nigeria the, the comedy industry is booming. In other parts of Africa, I'm talking about South Africa. You dig I'm talking about I'm talking about Ghana. You dig and I'm talking about uh, I think it's Uganda, this brother from uh, is this Samadora? This this is he's, he's very com funny guy, man. Is this Samadora? I don't know, but you guys gonna let Mr. J know. Now let's come to my. I like to put my country first. I like to mirror my country, Cameroon comedians. We've seen the likes of of Def Jam moving to Motherland, and this man is about to go build a comedy club out there in Motherland. And you as a comedian in Cameroon, and you are not popping, bro. Africa's going to be the next big thing. People going to be coming to Africa to get things popping. You feel me? So, man, this is a great boost, man. Hey, I wish this man all the best. This is the, You are the most. You are one of my favorite comedians. I got you. I got Eddie Murphy. You dig? I got uh, Martin Lawrence. You know what I mean? So, if this is not a good sign that any entertainer in Motherland, I'm talking about music, actor, um comedy you dig start man, man sink your foot deep if you were playing with your career especially for my country if you were playing with your career a whole lot of these big famous folks are coming to boom to to to, to beef up the industries in in motherland you did Akon already doing his thing. A whole lot of American artists already coming and doing collaboration. We saw we saw Salatia with Beyonce. We saw Shakta Wale with, uh, with Beyonce. You did we've seen Diamond Platinums with Omarion. We've seen a whole lot of them. So man, I just wanted to bring that and talk to you guys, man. Stand up man, Motherland. It's gonna be the entertainment industry in Motherland is going is gonna evolve. 10, 5, 10 years from today, y'all gonna be scratching your head and be like, yo, Mr. J was, Mr. J said this. Especially folks from 237. Now, I mean, focus. Let's kill the ego. Let's build up our industries the right way because, man, help is coming. Change gonna come, like Sam Cook said. Now, I mean, I appreciate you checking Mr. J. I just wanted to bring the good news, man. So, we got Stevie Wonder coming in. Of course, we know that Mr. Stevie Wonder is gonna start something going, he gonna get something going. Now, picture of this brother goes, uh, De Murphy comes, you know, he just did uh, coming to America too. You dig? And the whole of these big heavy cats, man, these black Americans just go and just say, man, we are going, we're going to rival. We're going to have our own Emmys. We're going to have our own, trust me. These are things that I know that's going to happen in my lifetime. You feel me? Be good, man. I hope you didn't let that commercial play, and I hope you know what you're supposed to do. I love you, man. We're going to keep putting out these things like that. We're going to keep talking about the entertainment movement in Marvel. You smell me? Be good. Be night. Odoku out. Peace.